publication, education for excellence. Hello friends, I am Vedav. Let us learn about computer next. Before we know about computer, let me introduce you to my friend, Robo. Hi, I am Robo. Let's learn. Chapter 5 Introduction to MS PowerPoint 2010 You will learn Starting MS PowerPoint 2010 Components of MS PowerPoint 2010 Creating presentation Creating blank presentation Insert a new slide Saving a presentation Open an existing presentation Closing a presentation in this chapter, we are going to learn about one more software of Microsoft Office which is used for presentation. Many a time, when we want to communicate our message to a large number of people, we use the presentation as our mode of communication, which can be a vocal presentation or it can be in written form. An effective presentation is one which leaves overlasting impact on the audience. PowerPoint is an application which is used for creating such type of effective presentations. A PowerPoint presentation is a systematic display of information in the form of text, graphics, sound, movies, etc. The information in a presentation is stored in the shape of slides. Slides can be considered as the individual page of the presentation which are displayed one by one on the screen. Starting MS PowerPoint 2010 To start MS PowerPoint, follow these steps. Click on the Start button. Click on All Apps. Click on Microsoft Office. Double click on Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Components of MS PowerPoint 2010. MS PowerPoint has various components such as File tab, ribbon, slides, outline pane, status bar, quick access toolbar, title bar, Ribbon bar, groups, slide pane, note pane, view buttons. Title bar. It displays the name of file along with program. It is located at the top of the PowerPoint window. Quick access toolbar. It is present at the left of the title bar. It contains icons which are frequently used commands such as save, undo and redo. Ribbon It displays the name of file along with the program. It is located at the top of the PowerPoint window. It is present below the title bar and has many tabs. Each tab is divided into different groups. File tab this tab is present at the left side of the ribbon. This tab is used for creating, saving, opening and printing presentation. Slide pane. An area where the slides are created. A slide is a single page. It contains text, image, sound and video. Slide and outline pane. This is present at the left side of the slide pane. The slide tab displays all the slides in a small view. The outline tab displays only the text written in a slide. Status bar. Status bar is present at the bottom of the PowerPoint window. It displays slide number, views and zoom button. Notepad. 
It is used to type speaker notes for the current slide. View buttons. These buttons are used to display the presentation in different view, such as normal view, show slide one by one. Slide sorter. Show slide in rows. Reading view. Show slide in MS PowerPoint window. Slide show. Show the presentation to audience on the full screen. Creating presentation in MS PowerPoint 2010. Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 offers different ways to create a new presentation. You can choose from any of the following methods depending on your need. Blank presentation. Create customized presentation with white background and black text. Sample templates. The sample templates are the safe presentations which include different themes and layouts that helps to do work easily and quickly. Themes. Themes are the group of pre-designed format of text. Color schemes and graphics effect. Creating a blank presentation. When you start MS PowerPoint 2010, by default, it starts a new presentation for you in the form of blank presentation. To insert a blank presentation, follow these steps. Click 5 tab. Select new option. It will open new presentation dialog box. Click blank presentation option under the blank and recent section. Click create button. A new blank slide appears on the window. Insert a new slide. After completing the first slide of your presentation, you have to insert a new blank slide in the presentation to create the next slide. To insert a new slide to your presentation, follow these steps. Click the new slide button in the slide group under home tab. A list of blank slide layouts appears. Click the required slide layout. For example, two contents from the list. A new slide will appear in the slide pane area along with required place holders. Now, you can insert text, pictures, audios, charts, so on in the slide. Rub of fact! A placeholder is a dotted rectangular box on the slide that can hold text, graphics, table, graph, videos, etc. Saving a presentation Saving a presentation means saving all the slides of that presentation together as a single file. To save your presentation, follow these steps. Select Save option on the File tab. Save as dialog box appears. Type the name of your presentation in the file name box. Click the save button to save your work. Open an existing presentation. If you want to work once again on your previously saved presentation, you can open the file. To open files, follow these steps. Select Open option from the File tab. Open dialog box will display on the screen. Select the file you wish to open. Click Open button. Closing a presentation. To close a presentation, follow these steps. Select the Close option from the Microsoft Office button menu. You will be asked to save your presentation in case you have not saved it. Click Save to save your presentation. Click Don't 
save if you don't want to save and cancel if you want to work with the presentation. Exiting PowerPoint To exit PowerPoint, click File tab. Then, click on the Exit option in the menu that opens. Slideshow By now, you have learned how to create a presentation. Now, you will see all your slides one by one on full monitor screen. PowerPoint gives you the option to display all the slides one by one sequentially on full screen. This process is called slideshow. There are three ways to view a slideshow. Click the slideshow tab on the ribbon and click from beginning button from the slideshow group. Press F5 key on the keyboard to start the slideshow from the first slide. Press the slideshow button on the status bar. This starts the slideshow from the current slide. Your first slide will appear on the full screen mode. Press the enter key on the keyboard or click left mouse button to bring the next slide on the screen. Continue like this till the end of the presentation. Quick Review Microsoft PowerPoint is used to create computerized presentation. A presentation is a systematic way to display information in the form of slides. Slides are the individual pages of a presentation. We can create, modify or design our presentation in the normal view. Placeholder is a dotted rectangular box on the slide which is used to hold text, graphics or other slide objects. Various slide layouts present in Microsoft PowerPoint allows us to systematically place the title, text, graphics or other objects on the slide. See you in the next chapter! Vedic Publication Education for Excellence